right. We have a congressman here, a good conservative. His name is Kerry Benavolio, and I'd like him to say a few words. Come on up. There we go. Yeah, stump speech. Stump speech. Are you doing okay? You know, it's very important. Um, I think when I ran the first time, I was endorsed by Madison Project. Actually, I'm positive that happened. One of the first ones. And I want to I want to tell you what we're doing in Washington. I'm already elected, right? But we have another election coming up, and uh, it's all about doing the right thing. You know, when I uh, went there, the only thing I had to fall back on was my Christian and my Army values. Having Amen. served in two wars, and th those Army values stands for leadership. L D R S H I P: loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. And that's what it takes. And I'm going to tell you just a couple tidbits, little bits here and there. And you know one of the hardest things to find in Washington? Leaders? The truth. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> truth. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I will tell you, there's a lot of honesty up there. But if you want a friend, get a dog. Yeah. Right? It's the, it's the friendliest yet loneliest place in, in, in the United States. It really is. But here's what we're doing. Um, I was really complimented by one of the staffers in uh, the Republican uh, committee up there. He said, you know, Congressman Bithball, you're the first freshman congressman that passed two bills in the first six months of being in office. Yeah, one to the NDAA and one for the education um, uh, appropriations. Very important bills. I won't spend time talking about them, but you need to go online, go to our website and read about them. The other thing is we did an op-ed on Syria. Heard about that, right? In Detroit News, it stopped the rockets in starting the war. Now, you may disagree, but once you send a rocket into another country, it's an act of war. They'd do that to us. If they, well, if they did it to us, and they did, in 9-11, we'd go after them, right? And we did. And that's what it's about. You know, doing the right thing up there, standing behind principles. And a lawyer asked me one time, well, how much is your principle worth? Well, you know, what kind of price are you going to put on my my uh, my father and his friends who served in World War II, Korea, my Vietnam vet, fellow Vietnam veterans, and those that I served in Desert Storm with in 2007. You know, it's about those principles are so so deep and so hard, uh, well ingrained in my body. There's no price. It's it's you just can't you can't do it. And hold you'll hold me to that, right? You gonna hold yes, me sir. to that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's what it's about. Hey, uh, so if you didn't hear what you were probably up here, we we just passed the CR to defund here, here. Obamacare. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Now, I'm thinking yeah. uh, you could get this on tape. I'm thinking of sending uh, Harry Reid a pacifier because he's <laughs> being very stubborn up there. They don't want to negotiate with Congress, yet they'll negotiate with Putin. You know? I mean, come on, what's wrong with that? But anyway, uh, we're fighting strong. Keep an eye on us. Go on our website. See what we're doing. Uh, if you have a complaint, hey, we, we have an office that's just doing a wonderful, phenomenal job. Uh, we won two awards for a constituent services program. I'm very proud of my staff for doing that. And we're doing the right thing. And you're all invited to Washington. Spend the day with me. You're more than welcome. God bless. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.